Yeah. You have a very interesting way of speaking. And I think it very much comes from the the background of what you're talking about. Had when you when you wanted to look into into is a human being just a robot, just a machine? Yes. I know that that kind of led you down this journey. Yes. Where where do you stand today? I do have some uh, unusual views about that. So it, it most of my colleagues would say that um, of course we're machines. We're carbon based machines. Um, our brain is just a machine, and all of neural activity is is a, a machine activity. It's probabilistic, of course, but it's probabilistic machines are, are machines. And so most of my colleagues would say, of course we're machines uh, and it we're carbon-based machines and artificial intelligence, they would say, um, is just another kind of machine. It might be silicon-based instead of carbon-based, but it, it's, it's not gonna be a fundamental difference between humans and AIs once we get the AIs to be sophisticated enough. Once they get com complicated enough, um, then there won't be any fundamental difference unless you can think of some reason why silicon should be different from carbon. Um, and, and no one would really want to argue that. So I, my view um, is gonna take a little bit to trace, but it, I, I take a, a fundamentally different view. I end up thinking, by the, by the way, and we can get there maybe later on, I end up thinking that we could actually construct machines that are conscious. But, but the reason that I think we can do that is utterly different from what my colleagues um, um, are, are thinking. So it's a, it's a completely different route to it.